Good evening and welcome to the Smith County Insider Candidate Forum hosted by Smith County Insider and the Smith County Chamber of Commerce. My name is J.R. Smith and I'll be your host for this evening. Tonight's event is being sponsored by Bass Funeral Home and the Wagoner Building. Located in the heart of Smith County, the Wagoner Building has you covered for private offices and co-working spaces. If you're looking to take your business to the next level or just looking to get out of the house while working remotely, check out what the Wagoner Building has to offer. Also, Bass Funeral Home has been serving Smith County for five generations. With a member of the Bass family at each of their locations, you can be assured of unending dedication and commitment. Again, we'd like to welcome you all and thank all of you for attending and all of the candidates for participating in tonight's forum. We'd like to thank the studio audience for attending as well. All of the proceeds from the sales of the studio audience tickets go to support tourism projects at the Smith County Chamber of Commerce, and we're very thankful for that. Early voting for the May 3rd, 2022 primary elections begins tomorrow, April 13th, and runs through April 28th. This is the first time that Smith County has ever had a primary election. When you go to the ballot, you will have to select whether or not you are a Democrat or Republican. The winners of the primary will face off with the independent candidates in the August general election. Tonight, we've invited candidates from all parties to participate. That's Republicans, Democrats, and Independents. At this time, we invite the Executive Director of the Smith County Chamber of Commerce, Bill Woodard, to come and say a few words. Thank you, JR. The uh, Smith County Chamber of Commerce was formed in 1974 by a group of businessmen here in Carthage and in the surrounding area. And the purpose for the Smith County Chamber of Commerce was to promote business, to promote, in, in, to promote industry, and to, to do uh, events and, and things of that nature. And we have continued with that legacy to this very day. And what I'd like to do is uh, very shortly, because I know you want to get to the candidates and what they have to say, but we want to invite you to become a member of the Chamber of Commerce. You can be an individual member, or you can be a member with your business. And what that brings to you is a lot of business uh, acumen and, and things that are able to be pulled to you that ha have absolutely no cost to you other than your membership fee. And it's a very no nominal fee. So the, the Chamber of Commerce can be a real help to you. If you're starting a new business out, we can help you get information and help from the universities and a, and a lot of places around here that you wouldn't think of when you're getting ready to start out. If you're an established business, we can help you do projections and there's a lot of things that we can do we can get information for you so I'd like to invite you to become a member of the Smith County Chamber of Commerce and help support what goes on in this county because I think we have a county that is wonderful it's growing and I think there's a bright future ahead of us so we'd like to invite you to become a member of the Smith County Chamber of Commerce thank you thank you Mr. Woodard Again, we would like to thank our sponsors for making this event possible. That's Bass Funeral Home and Wagoner Building. All right. With that, we are ready to begin. Each candidate will have up to five minutes to speak. And when you have one minute left, I'm going to do this number right here. And when you get to five minutes, I'm going to do this number right here. That will be your cue to finish and be seated. All right. With that, we're going to go ahead and begin with our first person. Running for criminal court, Republican Brody Kane. Thank you, JR. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm Brody Kane, the criminal court judge for the 15th Judicial District. For those of you who don't know which counties com comprise that district, it's Smith County, Macon, Jackson, Trousdale, and Wilson County. It's been, uh, first I want to thank uh, Smith County Insider and, and the sponsors for putting on this event. It's, a, it's great to have an opportunity to speak to uh, the Smith County uh, public and Smith County voters for this. I was first elected in 2014 and am now uh, unopposed in both the primary and in the general. But I feel it's important to get out and speak to people as much as I can. Uh, uh, about 5,500 cases, give or take, uh, are indicted each year in this district. Uh, and it's my job as one of the four trial, co trial courts that serve this district to uh, get cases to trial. Doesn't sound that difficult, but sometimes it can be, particularly with the COVID pandemic that we went through for the last couple of years. So I tried to take steps 
to keep, make, keep cases going and, and allow tr uh, trials to be held. You know, our Supreme Court suspended trials on two different occasions during the course of the last couple of years. And I'm proud to say that once they lifted the suspension, we actually had the second trial held in the state after that suspension. Uh, I've gone and picked up jury panels at the, the Ag Center, the Expo Center in Lebanon, the, Wils the Macon County uh, Fairgrounds. I've done everything I can to try to keep our cases going and, and, and have these cases heard. Uh, it's been, a, um, again, just such a great honor for me to be able to serve, and, and I'm, I'm appreciative that the opportunity that people uh, gave me to do so. Uh, I have uh, kind of inherited, during the course of my term, our recovery court program. I want to talk just a little bit about that. Uh, Judge Bond started it in 2002. Judge Wooten uh, handled it for probably an over, over 10 years. And when he retired, I, I inherited that post. And it is truly the best part of my job. The recovery court is made up of those who are uh, addicted to drugs and or alcohol. They have the sentences to serve, to serve in jail. Uh, if they uh, meet our eligibility requirements, they're allowed to come into the program, be uh, released from jail, and go into what I call the care, custody, and control of the 15th Judicial District staff because we took every step we can to try to ensure these people uh, can hopefully break uh, their addiction and get them out of the criminal justice system. As part of that program, they are released. They're immediately working full time. They receive treatment. Uh, they, uh, they have frequent and random drug screens and they have accountability. Because every Friday morning, I meet with all those that are in the program Sometimes they get a pat on the back and sometimes they get a kick in the rear. It just kind of depends on how they've been doing. But it's something I'm very proud of what we've done. I've expanded it to include misdemeanor defenders uh, during our, uh, throughout our district. And it's been a great opportunity for those to, uh, to try to, to get out of this uh, uh, drug epidemic that we have. We had our largest graduating class ever in 2020 and had a good class last year. Uh, like everything else, COVID did have an effect on that because it precluded one-on-one -on -one counseling for a, a long period of time, but we're back hitting our stride and, and I'm looking forward to uh, those, uh, uh, those folks to come, to come into the program. So I'm not gonna take up all my time. I know you have uh, several contested races that you wanna hear. I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank you for allowing me to serve as your criminal court judge. And I promise, when I ran last time, I promised to work hard every day. And I can tell you this, when I come to work, I bring my briefcase, my common sense, and a good work ethic. And I promise to do that each and every day uh, in the years that go forward. So in closing, I will say this, God bless Smith County and God bless America. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Our next candidate running for district attorney, Republican Jason Lawson. All right, thank you very much, and uh, thank you to the Chamber and to the Insider for hosting this event tonight. It's really important to me. I'm a first-time candidate, and so I'm excited to get out and introduce myself and let you know a little bit about me and, uh, and what brought me to this position and why it's an important service to me. My name is Jason Lawson, and I am the District Attorney. I am currently serving as your District Attorney. I was appointed last year by Governor Lee to fulfill the unexpired remaining term of General Tommy Thompson. General Thompson retired last year. He had about a year left on his term. So anytime that happens and there is a vacancy in a state level office, the governor appoints that position. So I was honored to receive the governor's appointment last year. I've been serving for the past year and uh, I am now up on the ballot for my very first election. And so I would appreciate your support and your vote for that. But I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I am from Watertown, uh, born and raised there, graduated there in 1995. Uh, went straight to MTSU and then to uh, UT Law School and then in finishing there I came back home I wanted to come back home and work in my community So I went to, to work for General Thompson at the DA's office in the year 2002 So I've now been a prosecutor for 20 years and let me tell you it is a, a wonderful career I could not have chosen a, a better path and I say I chose it But I'll tell you this it seems like everything that's happened in my life has just been the the good Lord opening the door That he wanted me to go through and me just having the courage to step through that and I've told him I said Lord you show me where to go and I'll, I'll take that step 
happen. I'll just trust you to guide me and to make it happen the way that it's supposed to happen after that. And uh, he's never let me down. So I'm really, really uh, honored uh, to have that appointment last year and really honored to have the support of the good Lord going forward. Uh, I will tell you that uh, the, the career of a prosecutor, it has been a challenging career. It has been a very rewarding career. And I don't know that there's anything that I could have, have picked that would have been any better uh, suited for me in my lifestyle. Um, I have really enjoyed meeting the people. I've enjoyed working in court with the attorneys. I've enjoyed working with law enforcement. You know, my job is simple, and it is to do the right thing to the right person for the right reason, and to do that every day. Uh, our district is a big district. We have five counties, Wilson, Macon, Smith, Jackson, and Trousdale County. I've got 15 assistant district attorneys that help me in those courts. I have great confidence and trust in them that they'll go in and do the right thing. And I have told them, as long as you're doing the right thing and you know why you're doing what you're doing, I will back you 100 percent. And, uh, you know, if anything ever comes up and anyone questions why you did what you did, we'll sit down and we'll talk and we'll understand it. But, uh, but you have my support, so go out there and do the right thing. It reminds me when I first became a prosecutor and uh, when I interviewed with Tommy and uh, he asked me, he said, do you have any questions? And I said, well, what happens if I open a case file and I read it and I don't think the guy ought to be prosecuted? And Tommy said, well, then dismiss it. I mean, it was just like it was the most natural and obvious thing in the world. And I said, well, as long as I have that professional discretion to prosecute those that need to be prosecuted, to dismiss those that need to be dismissed, to seek probation when appropriate, to seek incarceration when appropriate, to seek rehabilitation and reform when appropriate, that's what's important to me as a prosecutor is to find the right solution to solve the problem that we're facing, whether that is having a kid in front of us that can be saved or whether it is someone who has exhausted every chance and every remedy that they ought to have and it's time to remove them from the community. So that is what it means to be a prosecutor to me. Uh, I am excited also to share one other piece of news from you, with you. Um, back in April when I first got the appointment last year, one of the first things that I wanted to do as a prosecutor was when I looked at my district, both of my offices that I had were sitting on the western side of the district. And I always felt like my eastern side folks, being in Jackson County and Red Bull and Springs and even parts of Smith County, uh, we're a little bit underserved in the fact that uh, they were just geographically so far from the DA's office. And we have victims and we have witnesses that we need to meet with. Law enforcement needs our help to work on search warrants and do things that we do. So one thing that was important to me was to make sure that we had a more centrally located office. And in our district, the way it's laid out, there is no more centrally located area than Carthage, Tennessee. And so we have opened an office here in Carthage. I'm excited to, to do that. We moved in in January. We're working on the last few things and getting some rooms finished up and some signage and we're going to be uh, excited to announce an open house that folks can come in and see the DA's office. It is a wonder re wonderful resource for this community. I've got about 20 people working in that building and uh, already I'm seeing the benefits of having law enforcement stop in and a TBI agent who's housed there in the office and really just good for the community, good for our whole district. Now everyone in our district is about 30 minutes away from getting to sit down with us and to talk about their case and making sure that uh, they get the personal attention to their case that they need. So I'm really excited about that. Um, going forward, I'm looking forward to so many other opportunities, and I've got so many other plans with our office. Uh, we're adding staff. We're making sure that we have the resources that we need. And, you know, we're going to make sure that all of the cases get the attention and, and the right result in every, th in every case that we deal with. Um, I do appreciate your vote. I do appreciate your support. I do appreciate your prayers. And I just ask that you just uh, pay attention to what's going on with the DA's office over the next eight years. It's going to be an exciting time. So it's very nice to meet you, to introduce myself, and, and I'm honored to follow General Thompson in, uh, in, in his service. Uh, he was a wonderful servant for us, and uh, I was able to work side by side and learn from him over these years. And I look forward to keeping the, uh, the same quality of service that you've seen. Thank you very much. Our next race is County Mayor, and first up is Art Shady. My name is Art Shady, and uh, I want to thank the Chamber and uh, the Insider for making this possible. Um, I'm a first-time candidate as well, so I'm looking forward to uh, meeting you know, all you folks. And uh, I come from a financial management background, actually. Uh, I've been in uh, the real estate and banking industry. I've, I've been a controller for a multi-million dollar construction company in Knoxville. Um, I've got about 35 years of experiences in the accounting field. I built a tax practice in Chattanooga with over 200 clients, and commercial and individuals. And um, <clears throat> so I've, I've got uh, a lot of accounting and, and financial experience. Um, I've also been an adjunct professor for uh, Rome State University. Um, 
What I stand for, as I believe, is uh, what most of us here in the county stand for. I'm for the Second Amendment. I'm for less government and more freedom. Um, I'm for uh, you know, lower taxes and and so forth, and and keeping uh, things under control and meeting the budget and and uh, living within our means. I think that's as important for the government as it is for an individual. Sometimes <laughs> if the individual uh, manages their finances like the government does, they'd be bankrupt. So, <laughs> so we, uh, we definitely need to be physically, fiscally, excuse me, responsible. And we need to uh, always be vigilant uh, when it comes to the county's uh, funds and resources. Um, I think I can make some definite improvements. Uh, the, uh, the current administration raised our taxes, their property taxes by 28%. And I'm not gonna go into that because uh, I don't really wanna be negative. To, uh, but uh, if you go to artshady.com, I go into detail about some of the things that has taken place over the last four years that I think that we could stand some improvement on. Um, <clears throat> And uh, I need my glasses, <laughs> a new prescription, so bear with me here. Um, but um, the, uh, the current governor or mayor doesn't want to bring a major industry into the area, and I think we should. Um, he's, he's worried about not being able to get enough employees and not having the resources, the land and things in order to build. But I think if we change the uh, the the uh, business model. I think it would be easy to uh, allure industry into this county. And I, you know, uh, Academy Sports built a big warehouse over in Baxter. Uh, so, but, you know, uh, we can, if they can, if uh, Putnam County can draw in industry, we ought to be able to draw in industry. And people shouldn't have to travel to Nashville in order to get a decent job with a, a living wage. And if we're going to have uh, an opportunity to build a future for our children and our grandchildren, that's what's going to be necessary in order to make that happen. Um, so, uh, Smith County is, uh, I believe, ripe for uh, some changes and for some uh, to bring uh, industry into this area. I don't see any reason why we should not pursue that. Um, I'm sorry. I can't even read my own writing. There's not much light up here. Um, but uh, I think we ought to put major purchases out, out for bid, and I think we ought to uh, do our payroll in-house. and. Uh, uh, I think we just need to ask ourselves, are we better off than we were four years ago? And if we look at the uh, condition of our roads, and increases in our taxes, um, and uh, uh, other, other aspects, uh, I don't believe we are better off than we were four years ago. Um, I believe there are a lot of improvements that we can make and uh, I believe we can manage our funds more efficiently, and uh, I've looked at the budget uh, for 2021, proposed to 2022, and uh, I just uh, I think we need to make more realistic assessments. And uh, you know, the county's been uh, funding itself with tax anticipation loans, and this has been going on for years, even before the current administration. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as we can accurately and uh, uh, so, you know, uh, project the, the correct revenues. But if we come short, uh, then we're going to be in trouble. And I don't think that anybody's going to benefit from that. That's just going to mean higher taxes and more problems. Uh, go to my website, artshady.com. And uh, everything is covered there in detail. And I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you and I appreciate your vote.
Our next candidate is Jeff Mason. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you to Kobe and the Chamber and the Insider for doing this. Thank you to Chris and Rochelle for allowing us to use this gorgeous establishment. Uh, we did a meeting here last week, and this is a great place to show off for Smith County. Uh, I'm here tonight to ask you to reelect me for four more years. I made a, a statement about three years ago that did not judge me for what I inherited, but judge me for how I fixed it. And tonight, I can confidently tell you we have fixed a major part of our issues. They're not all fixed, but we're working diligently to do that. Today, we stand with $6 million in the bank. I inherited a fund balance of $384,000, so we have changed that. You had a debt load of over $11 million when I came into office. Today, that debt load is $8 million, with a million of that to go off when the Baker property sells this fall. We, ref we refinanced all of our long-term debt down and saved a million dollars in interest and, and knocked seven years off the time. Our solid waste has never been in better shape. We have put in policies and procedures and systems to make us more efficient. That's one of my goals is to make our government efficient and effective. That is what a, that's what government should be. It should be efficient and effective. Government cannot meet your every need and nor should it. Go, here, in, here at the local level, we provide law enforcement, administration of justice, Ambulance, fire, rescue, and first responder care, roads, and education. And that's what we do. That's, that's what we need to do. We're blessed to live in a great place like this. I mean, tell me another place in Smith County or in Tennessee tonight or across this nation that's having a revival on the courthouse steps. Is that not awesome? I mean, that's, that's who we are. I believe, I say it every day. We are still what's right with the world. And we have to fight and keep those values here. We're changing. People are growing and coming in here. We have to maintain our values and teach them our values that have made us great for the years that we've been here. There is not a better place in the world than right here. I love my job. I do. I, I've tried to do everything I can with common sense and a business sense. Have I made every right decision? Absolutely not. Will I always make the right decisions? No, but we make mistakes and we learn from it. We move on, we go forward. Tonight I'm here because of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and his salvation and his guidance and wisdom. But I'm also here because of, of my wife Amanda and my, ch my children that have learned and been with me for four years. And they've learned a lot as well. And it's been hard on them at times. But, but, they, but they continue to stand by my side and, th and I thank them for that. And again, I, I'm here tonight to ask you to give me four more years because the next four years have their own set of challenges. We've got roads that, I, that, that, that Mickey Barrett and I will talk, are talking about and what we're going to do, a plan to fix those. We've got a, we've got a Bluff project coming that, that could be very detrimental to you know, and we've got to mitigate that as best as, as possible. We have ADA compliance issues we've got to get fixed. We have up, building upgrades and facilities that we need to get fixed. And then we also just need to continue to, to find ways to be more efficient, more effective with your tax money because it is your tax money and you are our customers because Smith County as a business has 20,000 customers and we need to work and be efficient, effective and give you the best service possible. Again, I thank you. I thank you for putting this on tonight and I humbly ask you for, my vote, for your vote in this upcoming primary. May God bless you and may God bless Smith County. I need to add that both Art Shady and Jeff Mason are running on the Republican ticket. Our next candidate that's going to be getting up and speaking, running for County Commission District 1 seat, Independent Helen Vos. Okay. Can you hear me? break it or anything. So. My name's Helen Vose and I'm running for District 1 County Commissioner. Um, I don't have a lot to say other than um, the reason I'm running is that you can either be part of the change because changes are coming or you can just gripe. So I decided to try to be part of the change. Um, uh, I don't really have, um, I'm, I'm an auditor and I have a, a degree in accounting 
And um, so I'm always kind of on the outside when I go in. People are really fond of auditors, as you know. So um, I won't be part of the primary, and uh, so, but I would appreciate your vote in August. Thank you. I yield back my time. Thank you. There we go. There's a little bit of a height difference there. That's all right. All right, next up, County Commission District 4, running as a Republican, Matthew Inyard. Good evening, everyone. My name is Matthew Inyard, and I'm seeking the seat of County Commissioner in District 4, Rome Rock City. I am the only Republican uh, running in my district. I currently work for the Tennessee Department of Transportation as a network operations administrator lead for the past seven years. Sounds like a big title, but basically that means I'm a supervisor for tier three support and for IT. I'm married to Stephanie Jenkins Inyard, Beth, uh, a daughter of Beth and Harold Jenkins. Stephanie is currently an educator at Red Bull and Springs High School, teaching family and consumer sciences. However, she's previously worked at Union Heights Elementary for the past four years as a educator in K through fourth school uh, grades. Stephanie and I have two growing boys, Cooper and Cole. Uh, Cooper is age six, Cole is age four. We live on her family's farm in the uh, Rome community on Jenkins Road for the past 10 years. I was born and raised in Bradable, Tennessee in Cannon County. My parents taught my sisters and I about having a servant's heart. Dad helped start the Cannon County Rescue Squad and the first volunteer fire department in Cannon County all while working as a uh, you know, EMT for the Cannon County EMS. Mom was busy herself working at the local hospital uh, where they met. They taught me that you should do the right thing, treat others like you want to be treated even in your bad day, and more importantly, serve with your heart for the right reasons. In May 2017, I was elected to fill an empty seat in District 4 on the Smith County Commission. While in office, I tried to bring fiber internet to the Rome area, identify areas where we can modernize county offices and successfully get SROs in every single Smith County school. Since moving to Smith County, I've made it my goal to be active in the community in which I live. I'm involved in several organizations, including the Southside Lions Club, the New Middleton Masonic Lodge, number 249, the Carthage Benevolent Masonic Lodge, number 14, help start the Gordonsville Events Committee, also known as the Gordonsville Halloween Bash, and help start the, um, uh, sorry, uh, also on the River City Ball Committee and uh, serving as the PAC Committee Chairman for Cub Scout PAC 367 in Carthage. I moved to Smith County because that's where my wife told me we were gonna live after we got married. <laughs> However, I've made it Rome uh, my home for the past 10 years. I respect Smith County's history and I want to be part of its future. I humbly ask for your support on May 3rd in the primary, and more importantly, August 4th in the general election. Thank you so much. Now for County Commission District 5. We're going to start with Republican Danny Irizarry. Good evening. Thank you so much for being here tonight and for giving me the honor to speak. First of all, I want to thank the Smith County Insider and the Smith County Chamber of Commerce for hosting this event tonight. My name is Danny Rosari and my wife Carrie is here tonight as well. I'm running for County Commissioner for District 5 of Smith County. District 5 covers Gordonsville, Hickman, and part of Alexandria, Brush Creek, and Langster. I'll start by giving you a little bit of my background. My wife and I are just simple country people who live on a farm in Hickman. We grew up together in a small farm town and have known each other ever since we've been young kids in grade school. I grew up working on dairy farms and my wife and I graduated high school together. My wife and I are very conservative Christians. I attended the State Police Academy at only 20 years old. I graduated with honors from the State Police Academy and was assigned to work the area outside of New York City. After almost six years of working as a state police officer outside of New York City, my wife and I were ready for a life change. 
I made the decision to get out of law enforcement and we relocated closer to my parents who retired in Crossville, Tennessee. Around the time I got out of law enforcement, I decided to enlist in the Army Infantry. I did that for six years and was honorably discharged in December of 2017. I've also worked in the financial sector as an independent contractor for companies like Northwestern Mutual and US Health Advisors to help folks with their financial and insurance planning. My wife and I are both currently employed by Southwest Airlines at the Nashville Airport. That brings me to why I'm running for county commissioner. I'll be the first to tell anyone I'm not the typical politician type. In fact, if anyone asked me a couple years ago if I'd ever consider running for any public office, I probably would have told you no way. Here's why I decided to run. Over the past couple years, I feel like every strand of the soul of our nation has been tested to the max. The past couple years made me start paying attention to things in the local government that I never used to pay much attention to. I felt called to run to get more involved on the local level and felt that county commissioner would be the best way for me to do that. Over these past few months, I've been talking to many folks in the District 5 area of Smith County. I like to ask people this question if I have the chance during our conversation. What is one concern you would like me to work on or one thing you would like me to focus on if I'm elected as a county commissioner? I'm sure you can imagine the number of different responses I've heard from this question. I've heard responses such as, we are losing too many small businesses and need to get more small businesses in Smith County. One farm owner expressed her concern to me that Smith County really needs a designated animal shelter because the Smith County Humane Volunteers are overwhelmed at times with taking in large numbers of rescues and having to take on the burden of keeping these animals in their personal homes while not having a shelter in the county. Out of all the responses I've heard, the biggest one that comes up the most is the condition of the roads. I believe that the new highway superintendent, Mickey Barrett, will address this to the best of his capability and resources. I believe that I'm qualified for the challenges of this position with my background in public service and in the financial sector. Through my experience in law enforcement and in the military, I've been trained to think ahead, think critically, to plan and prepare. As a first time candidate for public office, I would bring new experience and perspective to the table and believe that I would be an asset for the Smith County Commission. If elected, I'm ready to assist and help the people of Smith County in whatever way I can. I'm able, ready, and willing to go to work for the people of Smith County if elected by the people of District 5. I want to thank the wonderful people of Smith County for all of your kindness and support to us while announcing and initiating my candidacy and campaign for this office. I'm asking for your continued prayers, your support, and your vote in the county primary election on May 3rd and in the county general election on August 4th. Again, thank you so much for being here tonight, and thank you for your support. We really appreciate it. Also running on the Republican ticket for County Commission District 5 is our next candidate, Eddie Stout. Thank you and thank the sponsors for putting this on tonight. Uh, my name is Eddie Stout. I am presently a commissioner in District 5 running for re-election. I was first appointed to this uh, position until the next election when I won it, and now I'm wanting to run for a four-year term, and I'm going to ask everybody to vote for me. I want to tell you just a little bit about myself. I'm married to the former Pam Dillard. Uh, I've been a real estate agent and an auctioneer for 40 years this month, and uh, that's where I've really enjoyed that. I've really enjoyed being a uh, member of the commission. Uh, I know this next term where there's gonna be a lot of new faces on the commission. Looking forward to working with every one of them. Uh, one of the top priorities that I wanna make and the promise I wanna make is to do everything that I possibly can to help improve our roads. 
I know Mickey will do uh, the best he can, but it's going to be up to us to help help him fund the what projects needs to be done, and I'm perfectly willing to do that. I've enjoyed working with Mayor Mason when all of the commissioners, it's there now, and uh, I went to school here in Smith County. I know I've been on all these county roads at some point in time. Uh, I know they're really getting in bad shape. They're getting in some of them is in worse shape now than they was when I was in high school. And uh, I want to see that come up. I want to work with anything else that comes up before our commission. I want and here in our county. I want to uh, help address it in any way possible that I can. And uh, be glad to do that. Be glad to talk to anyone in any way that I can to help do anything that I can to help promote Smith County. Not only just the 5th District, which I know some of the greatest people in the world uh, live in the 5th di District, just and also in Smith County. Uh, I do help on the farm some with uh, my brother-in-law and uh, uh, the only time I have missed a meeting, uh, I'm a member of the uh, Agricultural Committee, I'm on the Budget Finance Committee, and also on the Road um, Committee. The only meeting that I have missed since I've been on it was one, and that's when I was in the hospital with COVID. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, when I got out of that, something that hurt almost as bad as that was, my pet bull died. But anyway, I would ask anyone to uh, vote for me. I'd appreciate it, and I'll continue to do everything I can to help serve the people of the 5th District and Smith County to the very best of my ability. Thank you very much. Our next candidate running as an independent for County Commission District 5 is Blake Richmond. Good evening, everyone of Smith County, and a special hello to those of you that live in Gornsville, Hickman, and Lancaster. Uh, I do also want to thank uh, Smith County Insider and the Chamber for hosting this event to give all the candidates the opportunity to speak and introduce themselves. Uh, as JR said, my name is Blake Richmond. I live uh, in Hickman with my wife, Lacey. Uh, she currently works at the uh, new District Attorney's Branch here in Carthage. and. Um, Many of you on the south side of the county may know her because she's just about saying in every church in Smith County. Uh, we also have a two-year-old son, Lincoln. Uh, she is home right now, I assume, just chasing him around, trying to get him something to eat. Um, he's, he's a two-year-old boy, so I figured he did not need to be at this meeting. Um, like I said, uh, live in Hickman now. I've been a, a long time, lifetime Smith County resident. I'm the son of Alex and Candace Richmond of Turkey Creek, which have been uh, longtime staples in Smith County. Um, I attend church at Gordonsville Church of the Nazarene, where uh, my uncle by marriage, uh, Shane Smith, is the pastor there. Um, Lacey and I are relatively new to the District 5 area. We lived in Carthage for the first four years of our marriage and here recently we have moved to Hickman. We love it, we love the, the people, we love the community that is uh, District 5, Gordonsville, Hickman and Lancaster. We've made many new friends and wanna make many, many more. Um, like with that being said, um, not the most familiar with this side of the county, but you may know me from working at Gordonsville ShopRite with Alex and John Richmond as well as my time working at Cherokee North American Gordonsville for the past five years. Uh, I now work at Lock and Bar in Lebanon, Tennessee, where I'm a senior buyer, where I'm over um, many suppliers uh, managing uh, parts being brought into the facility so we can build our product. Um, I was a 2015 graduate of Cumberland University in Lebanon, where I received a degree in business management and uh, where I work now at Lock and Bar, where I did at Cherokee, my, my time at Cumberland, I believe that that experience uh, that gives me a very good prere prerequisite to be able to effectively 
uh, serve in this role as county commissioner. Uh, the reason why I wanted to run for county commissioner is because I want this county to go upward and onward. I want this county to be better than it was five years ago, better than it is today. Because as a, as a lifelong citizen of the county, I, it, it warms my heart to know that, that, I wanted, that I'm working with people that want to make Smith County better. Um, that's why um, and another reason I want my son to, to live in Smith County all of his life as well. And I want him to have the best amenities, the best roads, the best schools, the, the best everything. We want Smith County to grow. We want the people of Smith County to grow with it as we bring in new business, new people, and just better and more opportunities. Um, mm. And I, I may be repeating myself, but but Smith County and, and the, the south side of the, of the river, Gornsville, they, they're a very tight community. And I'm, I'm, I'm eager to become more of that community as, as we, we, get, um, we get better amenities and we progress together. Um, the, the, the biggest thing is, is I feel like that, that the, the commission as a whole, we all need one goal we all need to agree on that one goal, and if I'm in office, that goal is to be to go forward. Um, to, to close out, I, I would appreciate your vote in the general election as I am running as an independent candidate. Um, you, uh, you don't see any signs out right now, but, but after the, the May election, you will see, um, you'll see my signs, you'll see, you'll see this face whether you like it or not. And um, I do look forward to, to meeting each and every one of you in the District 5 area. And um, I, I do want to talk to you about what I, I want to do for the county and what I want, um, um, just what I want this county to be. So again, um, I ask for your, your vote and support for the uh, District 5 County Commissioner for Gordonsville, Lancaster, and Hickman areas. Thank you, good night, and God bless. Our next candidate running for County Commission District 6, independent candidate Justin Malden. Thank you, JR, for hosting this, and thank you to the Smith County Insider and the Smith County Chamber of Commerce and the sponsors uh, for putting this together. Thank you to those who are in attendance here, those who are viewing online. Uh, we appreciate this avenue. I know all these candidates are proud to be able to have the opportunity to speak, tell us a little bit about uh, everyone, and uh, we do appreciate it. Uh, my name is Justin Malden. Uh, I am running as an independent for county commission for District 6. That is the town of Carthage, and it also now, after redistricting, includes the Turkey Creek area as well. I'm a Christian, I'm a husband, I'm a father, and I'm a conservative. And I say those things in that order for a reason. I have the privilege to serve and to work with some of the youth of our community in the capacity as youth minister for the Carthage Church of Christ, and I also work in video production and marketing for DTC Communications currently. Previously, I was in the banking sector for several years uh, doing financial crimes analysis, and I'm a certified anti-money laundering specialist, so I've got a little bit of experience in some different things that I, I think help bring a perspective uh, that's a little bit different and unique uh, to this position. I've been happily married for 10 years. Uh, some of these other candidates, I am too a transplant here. I'm from just up the road in Baxter, but I've called Smith County my home for the past 10 years and have no intentions of going anywhere else. Uh, my wife and I have been blessed with two uh, young boys that are seven and four years old. And if you listen closely, they're not too far from. You can probably hear them playing or screaming or yelling right now. We're blessed to live in Smith County, and that's something that is going to be echoed by all these candidates. And you'll hear it said by residents and all the people of this community. One reason that I'm running for the commission is that I want to be a voice for Smith County values. I want to be the voice for the people. We're fortunate to be Tennesseans. We're fortunate to be Americans, and we say that often. 
But you know what we are more than anything else and who we identify more and associate more with? The people of this community. We are Smith Countyans first. Our community is first. These people who are here who are running for office, they're the ones that you can pick up the phone and I guarantee you'll get them on the phone. You can have a conversation with and can make a difference to you here and now. And that's not saying anything to our state and our federal officials, but it is different when it's home, when it is community. Something that we've got to pay attention to coming up over the next four years is what are we going to do to improve certain areas and how are we going to hit certain goals? And I hear a lot of people talking about goals, but how are we going to accomplish those? One thing that I think we need to focus on is on partnership and cooperation. I will make it a priority to partner with everyone, whether they are another commissioner, whether they're an elected official, whether they're part of a municipality, a business, an individual, a community leader. We've all got to come together, whether it's during times of gladness, whether it's times of sadness, whether it's during times of triumph or distress, it doesn't matter. We've got to come together. We've got to have working positive relationships so that we can all work together to move Smith County forward and to continue to thrive. Four main things that I want you to know about me that I will commit to doing if I'm elected as a commissioner for you. First and foremost, number one, is I will work to do everything I can to keep our taxes as low as possible and to continue to support fiscal responsibility. I told the mayor last night, I stood in front of the commission three years ago at a public hearing and told them, you guys have to do something that nobody wants to do in raising taxes. But there was a situation that arose and unfortunately, the mayor and some others inherited a mess, a hot mess as we would call it. And they raised taxes, which was not something that they wanted to do and it was not pleasant for anyone in this county. But since then, they've spent responsibly, they've lowered expenditures, revenues have been great, and we've got our taxes back down, and we're in a be the best financial shape we've been in in a long time. We need to continue to support economic development and economic growth and job creation. And I appreciate what Bill Woodard and Jeff do in their roles. They push and they try, and they're out there trying to get business, and we've got to work together. That's where that cooperation comes into play. Whether it's a municipality or the county, we've got to work together to make those things happen. Let's continue to work for a better quality of life. There's something that we say at church camp every year. We have a church camp uh, that I'm a part of that I volunteered at for years, and one of our sayings that we have is we want to leave those campgrounds a better place than when we arrived. What we need to be striving to do each and every day, and what I promise that I will try to do for you is to leave Smith County a better place. That it will be made better because of what I'm doing and what we are all doing. I'm Justin Malden, I'm a candidate for commission for District 6 again. I am an independent, so I will not be on the ballot until August either. I want you to know that I am delighted to have the opportunity to stand before you, to be able to talk to you. It's an honor and it's a privilege to be able to have the opportunity to serve and be considered for that. I want you to know that this is your county. I said I want to represent your values. The other candidates and I have our opinions and our thoughts. I want you to reach out if you've got anything and let us know. Thank you guys and God bless. Next for County Commission District 7, Republican Connor McDonald. Thank you, JR. Thank you, Colby and Mr. Woodard, for all y'all have done, the insider and the chamber, and putting on this great event. My name is Connor David McDonald, and I am running as a Republican for County Commissioner for District 7, which is the South Carthage District. I'd like to take a moment to introduce myself to those of you who I may not know. Uh, my name is Connor McDonald. I was born and raised here in Smith County. Uh, the most important thing you'll probably hear from me tonight is that at a young age, I uh, put my faith and trust in Jesus Christ and he saved my soul. I'm glad that as a, a longtime member of this community, we've been attending church every time the doors were open, uh, I like to say since about nine months before I was born. Uh, so it's very important to our family. Uh, my parents are Dr. David and Lori McDonald, uh, known by most people as Dr. Mac. Uh, been a long time dentist here in, in Carthage for over 30 years. Uh, and as far as we can tell, our family goes back eight generations in Smith County to a Revolutionary War grant actually over in our farm in South Carthage. So we're about as Smith County as you can get. Um, and if you've been around long enough, you'll actually know my dad's parents, uh, Cordell and Lois McDonald, who are also 
longtime educators here in Smith County. Uh, like I said, I grew up on the, most of my childhood on our family farm over in South Carthage. After high school, I went to MTSU, where I obtained degrees in political science and economics. From there, I went on to Belmont University Law School, uh, where I graduated top 10 in my class, passed the bar exam in 2020 to become an attorney in the state of Tennessee. I've always been interested in the business and tax side of the law. I think part of that comes from watching dad run the business side of his dentist office. Uh, so I, I furthered my education and got a master of law in taxation from the University of Alabama, uh, which is a specialized degree focusing on tax issues at the business and personal level. Uh, I worked for a few years with Jeff Cherry out of Lebanon, a very well-respected attorney, uh, before I took a job at, in estate planning in Nashville, uh, which is uh, the job that I, I think is a dream job. Uh, you get to uh, help clients achieve their estate planning goals and do everything we can to make sure the IRS doesn't get a red cent after they pass away. Uh, and I can't, I better not finish talking about my background without mentioning my wife, Kaylee. Uh, we met 12 years ago at a church camp, and this summer we will have been married for four years. She is not here tonight. She is at home with our baby girl, Georgia Rose, who will be six weeks old tomorrow. Uh, and those last two things I mentioned are really the reason I'm running for county commissioner, financial responsibility and also my baby girl. Um, the main job of the county commission is setting the county budgets, or one of the main jobs of the county commission is setting the budget and overseeing the county departments. Uh, departments will submit proposals to the commission who then combine those and go uh, along with revenue projections to create a balanced budget for the upcoming year. A lot of that work happens in the Budget and Finance Committee, which I, as a candidate and as a citizen, have already been attending those committee meetings so I can hit the ground running in September with an understanding of what's going on and how the process really works. I believe my tax and business background in the law will help uh, serve me in this role, and I promise to work hard to always make sure we pass a balanced budget uh, and do everything we can to make wise financial decisions with our money. Another reason I'm running for county commission I mentioned is my baby girl. I think Mr. Woodard and Mayor Mason both uh, mentioned just the privilege and uh, the honor it is to grow up and just be a member of the Smith County community. And I know many other candidates have also mentioned that. I was born and raised here in Smith County. Uh, I grew up in what I think is the greatest place on the face of the earth. Um, I remember growing up, uh, birthday parties at Happy Jay Skating Ring, uh, campground at Defeated for the Lake on weekends, playing on the big hill at Smith County for, during the Smith County and Gordonsville high school football games, and going to Crump Paris Park. Uh, I love this community, and that's why it was a no-brainer uh, when Kaylee and I knew we wanted to start a family, it was gonna be where where I've always grown up and, and the community that we love. Uh, and yet, Ronald Reagan reminded us years ago that those freedoms and those liberties are never more than one generation away from extinction. Uh, Smith County is only going to retain the qualities that we all love if we're vigilant to protect those qualities going future. And I promise you, as your next county commissioner, I'll do everything within my power to make sure that the Smith County we all love and adore is there for our children and grandchildren. Thank you all for coming out and tuning in tonight. Once again, my name is Connor McDonald. I'm running for County Commissioner District 7, and I sure would appreciate your vote in the May primary and the August general election. Thank you. Our next race is for trustee. We have two candidates on the Republican ticket. The first is Jackie Gentry. I'd like to start off by saying I would like to thank everybody that has a part in putting this on this evening. For everybody tuning in, it shows that you have the best interest in, in heart for Smith County. Uh, I am running for the position of trustee. Uh, I'll start out by saying a little about me. I consider myself to be a simple man. Um, I believe that a handshake um, and your word still goes a long ways. I feel like if you make a commitment to somebody or a promise that you follow through with that commitment or promise, no matter what, uh, 
about 27 years ago, I made a commitment to a little girl in Riddleton, and we just celebrated 26 years of marriage. A little later, we decided to have a family. Uh, we are now 19 years into that commitment with our son Holden. Um, later in life, uh, later than I'm actually proud to say, I finally decided to make a commitment to uh, God that if he would uh, forgive me of all my sins and save me, that I would uh, live for him to help further his kingdom. I'm a little shy of two years on that commitment. The next commitment that I would like to make is to the people of Smith County to be one of the best trustees that this county has ever had. And I feel that the best way to do that is to do the job to the best of my ability, learn it to the best of my ability, learn all the ins and outs of it, um, especially the tax relief program that is out there for the elderly and the disabled. Um, every year that they change the numbers of who qualifies for that, I promise to get that out to the people as soon as possible, especially the people that qualify for that. So if you qualify for that benefit, I guarantee you I will save you every dollar that I can as long as I'm in office. Uh, as well as considering myself to be a simple man, I also consider myself to be a realistic man. And I know that the world is not all rainbows and unicorns. I know that I stand before you not the most experienced candidate for this position. I also know that I'm not probably the most well-known candidate for the position. And well, let's just be honest, I know I'm not the best looking candidate for this position. But that's okay. I mean, that's things that I can work on, strive for. Um, I said a few minutes ago that I'm, that I'm a Christian. I enjoy reading the Bible, um, seeing how God chose different people to do his work throughout, um, whether it be Noah and the ark, David and Goliath, Jonah and the well. I mean, the list goes on and on. But just some of the people that God chose to do his biddings or his work. Uh, I'm not here to preach to you tonight, but I would like to say that David and Goliath, you know that story, sort of stands out to me how God chose a young shepherd boy to face a giant Philistine warrior. With that being said, we all know David was a shepherd, not a, not a warrior, so David was not the most qualified candidate for that position. And being that David stayed out in the fields night after night, looking over his flock, didn't have the comforts of home, it's safe to say that David was, well, probably not the most well-known or the best looking candidate for the job either. But the point I'm making is David went on to do the job that God chose him to do, uh, just like God knew he would do. Um, God did not choose the qualified, God qualified the chosen. That's what I'm asking the people of Smith County to do when you go to vote, to put just a little bit of faith in me. I will keep all of my faith in God, and together we will be one of the best trustees that Smith County has ever had. Thank you and God bless. Our next candidate for trustee is Julie Wright. Hello, everybody. My name is Julie Wright, and I'm running for the Office of Smith County Trustee. I am thankful to have some of my family in the audience tonight. My parents and my sister and brother-in-law are here with me. My children, Caleb and Jenna Harville, are at home tonight watching. Um, to be their mother is one of the greatest jobs that I have ever had, and I consider them my greatest blessings in this life. I have worked in the trustee's office since 2018 as a deputy trustee and the bookkeeper. The trustee's office does a lot more than just collect property tax. It is the bank of the county. As of today, the current balance on the books is 
$942.81. Some of the funds that make up this amount are the general fund, highway, solid waste, and three funds of the Smith County Board of Education. All of these funds have to be coded, receipted, and reconciled to the penny. Currently, I have some bank accounts that I reconcile daily, some weekly, and I have over 12 bank accounts that I reconcile monthly. I also handle the distribution of sales tax from the state and make sure that the cities get their correct portion. In 2020, I had the opportunity to attend a program that was offered by and paid for by the state of Tennessee. And after I completed that program, I became a certified county finance officer. I hold an associate's degree from Volunteer State Community College and I'm currently attending uh, Western Governors University um, and I am close to completing my bachelor's degree in accounting. So y'all pray that I complete that. Please pray for that for me. I am running as a candidate in the Republican primary. However, I promise to treat each person with the same kindness and respect as I have over the last four years. I love my job and I love Smith County and I humbly ask each of you to vote for me to be your next Smith County trustee. Thank you all very much, I appreciate it. One of the independent candidates running for trustee is up next, Craig Williams. Um, I would like to thank Smith County Insider and uh, Smith County Chamber of Commerce as well for allowing us to speak tonight. Uh, my name is Craig Williams. I'm a lifelong resident of Smith County. Uh, I lived in South Carthage for the first few years of my life and then we moved to Elmwood 35 years ago and that is where I still reside today. Um, I volunteer a lot of time to our youth as I have a burden to see young men grow up to be responsible adults, husbands, and fathers. I understand the importance of strong families and being grounded in the Word of God. I'm married to Ashley Ray Williams and we have been married for 18 years. My wife works at Fort River School and we consider it a blessing. She is able to work where our boys attend school. She is also a Sunday school teacher at South Carthage Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, we have two sons, uh, Cooper, who is 12, and Cole, who is 10. Uh, my parents are Benny and Lynn Williams. I am blessed to have had parents that took me to church and taught me wrong from right and provided consequences when I chose wrong. Uh, my wife's parents are Terry and Sherry Ray, and I could not have asked for more supportive in-laws. Uh, you could sum all that up with one word, and that would be blessed. Uh, I am a conservative Christian. Uh, I have been my whole life. I believe in a democracy as well as capitalism, and the less government, the better. But after much prayer, I felt led to not run in the primary, so my name will not be on the ballot um, until the general election, which is held in August. Uh, the trustee is a position I'm very familiar with as I have been around the position for a large portion of my life. Uh, in the role of trustee, I feel there are four main job responsibilities to make this successful for our county. Uh, the customer service responsibility, human resources responsibility, the financial responsibility, and the management side. Um, these four elements I have extensive knowledge in and have handled daily in my current role for the same employer for 18 years. Uh, I understand the importance of each one of these working together to get things completed correctly and timely without compromising values or ethics. If elected, I will look into the hours of operation to make things as convenient as possible for taxpayers. Um, I would also look to see if there are ways convenience fees can be reduced for online transactions. Most importantly, I would listen to the needs of the people to see if additional changes or services are needed. In closing, I love this county and the people of this county. We are blessed with great candidates for the office of trustee as well as the other races. I will always treat you fairly and greet you in a respectful manner with top of the line service. I would humbly appreciate your vote and please reach out with any questions or concerns. Thank you. Running for General Sessions Judge up next is Brandon Beller. Thank you gentlemen for hosting this. This is a humbling opportunity. I, I really 
when I started tonight, I thought, well, I'm going to say this about the General Sessions Judge's office and listening to all these good folks speaking there tonight, the, the quality of leadership, uh, Smith County is, is blessed. Uh, we have some folks here tonight that uh, are really, truly impressive, and I'm, I'm humbled uh, to be around you all. First of all, I want to be thankful for to all the people that serve with me as in my role as General Sessions Judge. General Sessions Office as, of Judges is not just one person. It's made up of the people around that office. You're only as good as the people that are around you because they're your support group. So you've got a clerk's office, a circuit court clerk's office, you've got a misdemeanor probation, a misdemeanor recovery court, and you've got several other folks even with the clerk and master's office and the sheriff's department that I work with on a daily basis. And I could not do what I do without them. So I want to express my appreciation for them and their hard work. I'm running unopposed. Um, I, I question about whether anybody wanted the job other than me, <laughs> but uh, I decided to do it. And uh, I was appointed to fill the unexpired term of Judge Michael Collins. Uh, Judge Collins had established a recovery court program that we've expanded since, his, uh, since he left office and uh, since my appointment in September of 2020. Uh, the, the folks of Smith County have not had the opportunity to elect me yet, so this will be run opposed. I first ask for your vote, number one, and, and two, I want to tell you that uh, I want to serve you. Uh, we have an open court system, uh, our General Sessions Court is really kind of a, a court of first impression. Most people, when they come into to, to court, one of the first courts they're going to see is General Sessions Court. Um, we have anything from a criminal case to civil case, juvenile cases, juvenile justice cases, anywhere in order protection. So it's a wide array of folks that we, we come in contact with. So it's important to me that, that I'm up to date on, on the law, that I communicate with my fellow judges and, 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 and the lawyers in our judicial district that come from come uh, into the courtroom, I learn for, from them, I listen to them. I want to make sure that, that I'm as, as knowledgeable as possible in order for me to serve you to the best and highest of my ability. And we've got several uh, of my peers here today, and, and I've got Judge Kane here, who, who I've been in front of him for known him a long time and, and, and appreciate him and respect his work. And got General Lawson, who's also here, who certainly that, that uh, his office is, frequents my court at least two or three times a week. And so it's good to have people like that and, and, and young Mr. McDonald around here who's been in front of, there he is, a few times too. So it's good to have the good lawyers, good judges, good DAs, and it's just an, such an honor and a privilege um, like I said, I want to serve and I want to serve you. Um, I look at it from, as a General Sessions judge that uh, it, it's a people's court. It's a, pe it's a court for the people, by the people. It's a court that, that I take very seriously the, the, the constitutional rights and civil liberties of individuals coming in that courtroom simply by the fact that, that I may be the first judge they see and one of the most important decisions may be from the, the judge, the first judge that they see. So I stay uh, ready at all times. Uh, uh, I like to think that I, I work hard and work diligently, uh, get up early and stay as late as necessary in order to get the job done. And something of, of utmost important to me is the future gener generations of our children for Smith County. Tonight I've listened to some of these candidates talk about their children. And I can tell you it's important. The children of Smith County are one of the most important things that I look at and, and want to, to, to protect, to look after as judge in my role. And certainly uh, their best interest is always at my heart, no matter whether it's a juvenile case, whether it's an order of protection, or whether it's a criminal case. Uh, the people of Smith County are, are near and dear to me. Uh, I've been here all my life, and I want to continue to serve, and I would appreciate your vote. You won't see me on the May ballot, but you will see me on the August ballot, and I'd appreciate your vote. I thank you for your time. We have two Republicans running for a sheriff. The first candidate to come up to speak tonight is Scott Moore.
pardon me for having to adjust this. Everywhere I go, I always stall the program for about five minutes. Uh, good evening, everyone here who has joined me at the Rose Building, and uh, good evening to everyone who has joined us on Facebook Live. Uh, it's an honor to stand up here uh, this evening, and special thanks to the Smith County Insider and uh, the Chamber of Commerce for giving us the platform to have a voice. Uh, our local media has done an amazing job of really explaining how important this election is and we appreciate it. I am Scott Moore and I'm running to be your next Smith County Sheriff. I graduated from the University of Tennessee in 1999 with a bachelor's degree in sociology and criminal justice. With over 22 years of law enforcement experience, I have uh, had worked in a county with over 150,000 people, which gives me the ability to adjust with rapid growth and not just to keep up, but to stay ahead. We will have to change our mindset from being reactive to proactive. My message tonight is very simple. And there's one word that without a doubt I can bring to the Smith County Sheriff's Office and make it a better place. That one word is progression. We cannot remain stagnant and I have the energy, the ability and confidence to lead this county forward. We need progression and integrity and accountability. I will lead by example and will expect my deputies to be out in the community and maintain a, le a level of professionalism that is second to none. Integrity will be the cornerstone of our agency and accountability will never be questioned. I will bring a level of progression in training to ensure that we are confident in every situation. I will bring community engagement through programs that I plan to implement that will meet the needs of every age and demographic in Smith County. And I also bring a level of progression to school safety by consistently showing my presence and leading by example. I will fully uphold the American Constitution to the fullest extent as the sheriff answers to the people and no one else. I stand on and reflect conservative Christian values and will represent Smith County to the highest of standards. I am qualified, committed, and passionate and the right candidate for Smith County Sheriff. As the election season begins tomorrow morning, I humbly ask for your vote and support to be your next Smith County Sheriff. Thank you and God bless. It's not often I have to lower the microphone. This is, this is new for me. <laughs> Our next candidate running for Sheriff is Steve Hopper. Good evening, everybody, and uh, thank Colby and Bill and the sponsors, Bass Funeral Home and Wagner Building for putting this on and giving us a, an avenue to speak. I am Steve Hopper, and I'm currently serving as your sheriff, and I'm seeking re-election in the uh, primary. Uh, I'm married to Donna Nesbitt, and together we have four children and three wonderful grandchildren. And uh, I just love Smith County, and uh, I love all our people. And my goal from day one has been to keep Smith County a safe place for all of us to work and to live and to raise our families. Folks, I've spent 40, almost 40 years serving the citizens of Smith County. I've been here in Smith County serving you. I uh, volunteered with the rescue squad. I volunteered with the Central District Fire Department serving as the fire chief up until 2020. 
I worked Smith County Amulet Service. I uh, was hired by the Carthage Police Department in 95 and went to the Tennessee Law Enforcement Training Academy in uh, 96. And I uh, worked at Carthage for 15 years and the last eight years of that served as the Chief of Police until being elected as your sheriff in 2010. And the first meeting I had with my guys uh, in 2010, uh, my philosophy is pretty simple. I asked them three things. I said, do your job, treat people like you want to be treated, and do the right thing. Pretty simple philosophy. And our, one of our main goals in keeping Smith County safe is to rid or try as best we can to get these dangerous drugs and drug dealers off our streets because that ties back to a lot of the other crimes, your burglaries, your thefts, your assaults, your overdoses, your murders. They're all tied back to these dangerous drugs and the dealers. And our guys are out there every day fighting the elements. Our law enforcement is the first line of defense to keeping Smith County from going into chaos. They're out there every day. They're walking that line and they're keeping you and your family safe. A little bit about me uh, and about our department. It's, it's, not a, it's not me. Like Judge Beller said a while ago, it's the people that are around me. They make me look good, I think. They work hard every day. Every person has a role, and they play their role. It's just, I love being here. I love my job. Folks, we, uh, we just recently, in February, uh, had to... Uh, our audit from the Tennessee Comptroller's office with no deficiencies found. And what does that tell me? Or what should that tell you? That the Sheriff's Office financial house is in order. We consistently stay under budget and consistently turn money back over to the county every year to put back in the general fund, saving the taxpayers' dollars. February, we also passed the our jail certification for the year from the Tennessee Corrections Institute, no deficiencies found. Folks, it's not me, it's my people. They believe in me, they work hard, their heart's in it. And uh, we believe in serving the people of Smith County. We're still one of the few agencies that when you lock your keys in your car, we'll still come and unlock it for you. Won't charge you a dime. There's not many other agencies that still do that. We believe in taking care of our folks any way we can. And uh, when I started, we had two re school resource officers, one in each high school. And with the help of the county commission and the mayor, school board, we've got SROs in every school. And I just think that's a biggie that we, we're doing everything we can to keep our children safe and our people safe. Folks, I'm pro Second Amendment. I believe in uh, upholding the Constitution of the United States to the fullest. And I believe in upholding the laws of the state of Tennessee. Like I said, I'm running for re-election, and uh, if you see fit, I, I just humbly ask you for your vote. Uh, thank you very much. Our next candidate, this time running for county clerk, is Independent Cliffa Norris. <laughs> okay, uh, I'd like to first thank y'all for having this tonight, giving everybody the opportunity to speak. <clears throat> um, most of you know me if you've bought car tags in Smith County or 
got married or uh, opened a business or <laughs> I've been working in the county clerk's office now for several years. Um, had a job, I've lived here all my life in Smith County and had a job since I was about 15 years old, probably around the county in most, most things. And um, I'm not a good speaker and I'm not really what I consider a politician, but <laughs> had the opportunity, I uh, worked at a factory here in Smith County that closed back in about 20 years ago. And uh, at that time, my father-in-law, Jimmy Norris, was county clerk. I know everybody knows Jimmy Norris. And I had the opportunity to go into that office and go to work. And I thought, you know, I've worked hard all my life in a factory and I've got me a good cushion job in this easy office. And, you know, I just felt like I was floating. So I walked into that office and unbeknown to me, found out that it's a very, very busy office. Uh, was a lot for me to learn. Uh, we take care of not only Thailand registrations, we open business license, we do marriage license, we uh, take care of notaries, uh, beer license, uh, have a kiosk machine that we try to help people to renew their driver's license or their IDs here in the county to keep them from having to drive out of the county and also keep the minutes up for the commissioner's court. So when I first walked into it, I was like floored because I never realized what all went on in that, in that type of office. So I've worked hard in there for several years. And whenever my father-in-law decided to retire, he taught me into running. And of course, like I said, I'd never been into anything like that. So I ran and was elected in 2010 um, since being in that office, I've really learned a lot of things that I didn't know about it. Um, the one thing is how busy the office stays. Uh, like everybody said here tonight, this county just keeps growing and growing. And most every family that moves in has three or four vehicles. Or, you know, they have family that needs to take care of other different things in, in that office. Um, I've always tried to do my best. I've always tried to remember that it's not my office, it's the people in the county's office. And the one thing that I've always strived at is to try to treat everybody the same. You know, I, it doesn't matter to me where you come from or, or whether you're a Democrat or Republican or independent, I'm gonna treat everybody the same. And I have a great staff. I couldn't ask for a better staff right now. Um, I've always taught them or tried to teach them that the one thing that they had to do to make me happy was treat everybody with respect. And I can honestly say that that happens in my office every day. So, um, pretty much I'm there, I'm working every day. Uh, I enjoy it, even though it is challenging at times, I enjoy my job. and. I would like to keep my job, and I'm up here tonight to ask each of you for your vote, and thank you for your support in the past few years that I've been there, and ask you to vote for me again. Thank you very much. Our last candidate tonight running as a Republican for road superintendent, Mickey Barrett. Good evening. I'd just like to uh, tell Kobe and them we appreciate everything it took to come out and have this tonight. Um, my name is Mickey Barrett and I'm running for road superintendent. Uh, I'm a, I've worked at the highway department for uh, 26 years. Um, I was left in the interim position when our uh, last road superintendent, he resigned due to health problems and uh, I was left as interim then and I went in front of the county commission to get appointed to keep that position until the August election. And uh, they appointed me to keep it until uh, August. Uh, since then, uh, we've, uh, 
we have a, the infrastructure in Smith County is something that everybody here has talked about tonight, and it's something that you know has to be addressed. Um, one of the one of our main problems here in the county is uh, the water. You know, we've got to get the water off of the roads and back into our ditches. The water and stuff that's on our roads is what creates all your potholes that nobody, nobody likes, you know, the potholes. So uh, that's one of the things that has to happen in this county is to get that water off the roads and into the ditches. Um, one of the things that we've changed so far, or that I've changed so far, uh, the current, uh, product that we had that we put in these potholes and stuff, um, our guys could go out and put that product in there and um, in four or five days it would be it would be out and gone. And uh, so I contacted the oil companies and uh, told them, I said, you know, we've got to have a better product and uh, going with them, we changed our, our product to a different type of oil that we put in that cold mix. And uh, the first we made up, the first that I had made was in February. And uh, the prior mix, it would stay in, you know, a couple of days and our guys would have to go back and uh, put more mix in. And it was just costing more money than what the benefit we was getting from it. Well, we made this other mix in February and I'm proud to say that uh, from day one, uh, there is places and potholes that, uh, that still have that mix from day one. I mean, it's a it's a blessing, you know, to be able to provide something like that for uh, for Smith County. Um, another thing that we have is uh, the oiling and chipping. That's what we do, you know. Uh, step two, after you get the uh, water and stuff off the roads, uh, you know, when you've got all the water off, the culverts uh, cleaned out. Uh, it, a lot of them, you know, have to be replaced. You dig those out. Uh, any of the soft spots in the road has to be dug out, uh, rebased, and come back in to oil and chip those. Uh, one of the good things that we have now, our, uh, the distributor that we use to put the, the oil and stuff in, uh, it's all computerized. We can calibrate that uh, distributor right to the same standards that the oil company is telling us that that, need, that product needs to be applied at the application rate. So uh, where as years passed, that product went through a distributor. It was like a two-man distributor, one guy driving, one guy on the back. You turned the valve on, and what it sprayed out is just what everybody got. And uh, you can't, uh, this day and time with oil prices, you've got to be able to utilize every penny of that oil and and put it in a way that, you know, it's going to get you the most bang for your buck, you might say. Well, with that distributor now, that's one of the things that we are, you know, uh, being able to do. And we're also looking at ways that even the chips and stuff that you get put, that you put on there for the oiling and chipping is uh, there's other ways that we can utilize, uh, you know, every dollar of that to put on the roads. With that being said, I know it's a three to five minute. There is no way that I can sit up here and tell y'all what needs to be done to our road system. The door at the highway department is always open. You call over there, leave a message uh, for me to call you. Come see me. I'll sit down and tell you, you know, anything that you want to know about the highway department as a 26 year employee. But we've got some of the best guys. I've worked side by side with them. Uh, every, you know, the sheriff's office calls. We have tornadoes, we have floods, whatever. We work uh, day and night to make sure that we get everything uh, cleaned up, get people in and out, ambulances come, you know, to be where the ambulances can come, the, you know, if needed. But uh, like I said, there's no way in five minutes I can tell everybody what needs to be done at, uh, you know, for the roads and stuff. Uh, come see me at the highway department. I'll talk to you as long as you want to talk about it. Thank you and God bless. Again, we'd like to thank everyone coming out tonight and watching at home for the Smith County Insider Candidate Forum hosted by Smith County Insider and the Smith County Chamber of Commerce. Tonight's event again has been sponsored by Bass Funeral Homes and the Wagoner Building. 
Located in the heart of Smith County, the Wagner Building has you covered for private offices and co-working spaces. If you're looking to take your business to the next level or looking to get out of the house while working remotely, check out what the Wagner Building has to offer and Bass Funeral Home, which has been serving Smith County for five generations. With a member of the Bass family at each of their locations, you can be assured of unending dedication and commitment. Don't forget that, that early voting for the May 3rd, 2022 primary election begins tomorrow, April 13th, and runs through April 28th. Again, we'd like to thank everyone who has helped make tonight possible. And for all of them, for Smith County Insider, this is J.R. Smith saying good night. Are you tired of reading news in a bulky newspaper? Smith County Insider has you covered with up-to-date real-time news at the touch of your fingertips. The citizens of Smith County deserve to know what's happening around them as it happens. Let Smith County Insider help you promote your business or special events with our personalized advertising packages. Be sure to visit us at our website, smithcountyinsider.com, or follow us on Facebook and Twitter.